Kip side, kip skin, calf skin, same thing. You've heard of a calf skin jacket, boots, shoes, purse. Well, there's one small difference here. This is veg tan. And that small difference opens up the door to a number of great creative and utility possibilities. All right, we'll get to creative here in a minute because there's one or two really cool things we can do. But let's start with a liner because that's the most common place for a kip. Now it's my favorite because it's only two to three ounce, but also it's veg tan. So here's the thing, I can line and then dye and my liner matches my face leather. Or I can take my kip, dye face and liner separately and I can dye that liner in an alternating or contrasting color, drop that in, very unique project. But let's take that a step further. Let's take that contrasting color on our liner and cut through our face leather so that shows through. That is a great trick and it always looks good. All right, so I've got a couple examples here. Now, a little bit period, but you'll see exactly where I'm going with this. For dagger sheath, knife sheath, gun holster, I can take that two to three ounce. I can use that for the throat and the tip as I've done here. Now that's gonna give me some extra weight and extra protection, but it's not so much that it's gonna throw out my mold. And again, with the arm guards, period, or Western, or work, I've left my liner undyed. So therefore, I don't worry about rub off. All right, second thing, on the creative side, two to three ounce, so this is gonna mold beautifully. Now, this sample, I'm not sure if I love this or I'm a little creeped out by this, but this is a mask, and I've, I've turned this into a pouch, but notice how I can get a nice tight mold on this, and if I work that even a little bit further, I could probably get that mold a little bit tighter. Now, the last thing, two to three ounce, so we're gonna add a little weight to whatever we're working on, but this is gonna work for us. So say I've got a belt. I tend to use an eight to nine ounce for my belts and holsters, but that's gonna be a little thin. That's great for a casual belt, but say I need a work belt or a shooter's belt, I can add this, two to three ounce onto an eight to nine, that's gonna get me up to maybe 11 or 12, that's gonna be a very solid feel. But here's the great thing, I can reverse the kip if I want to. Great example, the quick draw folks, they want top grain on the inside of their holster for a smooth, quick release. Where the rest of us, we tend to want a skive on the inside of our holster, so it gives it a little grip, just like a saddle seat would. With a kip side, you could go both ways. This is a great leather with a number of possibilities.